My name is John Laycock. I'm director of the interim management team at Veritas. I've now worked at Veritas for 11 years and I also head up the education uh, interim practice at Veritas which is essentially providing senior level interim managers across the education sector but specifically um, to the higher education sector and the department for education. The higher education sector is going through significant change essentially around the introduction of student top-up fees from September 2012. And the result of universities are having to become a lot more commercially focused, they're having to put a lot greater emphasis on the student experience, and they're having to see students and in, a, in directly parents as their customers, um, which is something that they've not necessarily been very naturally adept at doing in the past. And as a result, students are uh, requesting and requiring a much uh, better student experience from universities, whether that's around the latest IT technology, whether that's around um, high-class estates, um, better teaching, um, and just a better experience. So the whole sector is, is changing quite fundamentally. There has been a recognition within the uh, higher education sector that as a result of these changes, as a result of universities having to become more professional, having to see students as customers and having to be more commercial in their approach, that they don't necessarily have the right skill sets internally uh, to rise to these challenges. And as a result, uh, there has been a great demand for introducing interim managers into the sector, uh, particularly those with more commercial skills, particularly those who have worked in more customer focused environments to help universities through this change programme. And we've seen, particularly around the professional service side of uh, the university's um, portfolio, around HR, around finance, around IT, around operations and around estates, a real drive to become more professional, more commercial, more customer focused. And getting interim managers in for six, nine, 12 month periods to allow this change process to happen um, has been very popular. IT has been a major uh, functional demand area from the higher education sector for some time. I think there's been a recognition that IT has traditionally been underinvested in, uh, but students now, as part of the student experience, are requesting the latest technology, um, they're requesting the latest um, cloud technology, the new, newest virtual learning environments, follow me printing, all these sorts of technological advancements that many universities haven't traditionally been able to cope with. So there's been a significant demand within the sector bringing in professional interim managers to affect these large IT scale changes. And that generally starts off with a review of the university's current IT structures and portfolios, and then a recommendation to the vice chancellor and the board about how the university might wish to take the IT function forward and then the IT director, the interim IT director, is generally uh, requested to deliver on those changes and affect uh, wholesale changes to the IT outlook of the university. Generally an interim manager will go into a uh, university um, or any other organisation for between 6 and 12 months and it's generally to lead on a significant change programme. Uh, generally the, the senior end of the organisation reporting to the vice-chancellor or a Pro Vice Chancellor or Deputy Vice Chancellor, and they have significant management responsibilities, budget responsibilities um, to lead significant change programs. And uh, as well as doing that, there will also be a lot of coaching and mentoring of, of existing staff. So when an interim manager leaves an organisation, um, they leave legacies in place, um, they leave the organisation in a healthier state than when they arrived, and they leave the, the existing staff more upskilled and better able to cope with the challenges of the future. Anyone that um, wishes to be associated with various interim management goes through a fairly rigorous, rigorous quality um, process around in-depth interviewing, around formal and informal references. And we take a lot of time helping people decide whether interim management is a career choice for them. Um, we do talk about uh, interim managers being professional interim managers, it's their career choice and we help them decide whether it's something for them because it does require a different skill set to permanent employment. Uh, people have to make a rapid impact. They're often parachuted into very difficult situations. So having that credibility and gravi gravitas 
um, to make radical change in many cases quite quickly, um, while at the same time um, having the credibility and the respect of uh, staff is absolutely critical. And we do spend a lot of time helping people decide whether that is actually a skill set that they have um, and it's something that we, we work with our clients with.